in terms of, of, of the season, and we always look to um, you know, January and February to, as we head into the Big Ten meet, and I feel that we've had a, uh, a great mix of, of competitions, uh, different types of competitions uh, to prepare us for uh, this weekend. Certainly, uh, when we go back to January, the two, the two uh, dual meets uh, were a lot of fun. Um, great to go head to head against Notre Dame and uh, certainly going up to uh, Minnesota for the, for the duel uh, against Minnesota. That was an exciting meet. Um, a lot of fans uh, showed up for that meet in just a different format. And, and to be honest, I, I, I think that's the type of meet, and they're the type of meets, those duel meets or, or try meets that really prepare our student athletes for competitions like the Big Ten where times and performance uh, times, uh, heights and distances don't really matter. It's all about competition. And, and let's face it, that's what the Big Ten is about. Mick, when you say the mile is blowing up, what does that mean? Um, right now, there are, as I said, there's eight guys ahead of Morgan on, on the national list at uh, 357.83, which is Morgan's time, but they're better than that. So uh, I think there's seven guys or six guys right now under um, you know, 357.5. It's just gone to another level. Um, it used to be, obviously, the four-minute mile was a, you know, big mark and exciting mark for collegians to to hit. And now it's it's. I think if you look at the total national list, there's probably about 27, 28 kids under four minutes. So, the new norm is now 358. Um, only a short few years ago, you know, we had a couple of guys just dip under Jack Bowles and and. Um, a few other guys, uh, you know, dipped right on the four minutes, and it was a big deal. Now it's it's they're a dime a dozen. Mick, did you see Kelsey Card coming a uh, year, a couple of years ago when she first came in, or did you see this p type of potential in her? Uh, me personally, uh, in, I don't think so. I, um, you know, I'm not a field events coach. I, you always listen to your your coach and staff, and in but Coach Ostrowska certainly did. Um, I know he had a uh, certainly convinced Coach Stinsey to redshirt her at a time when we probably needed her, and uh, so uh, David Straska certainly saw the potential. Um, you know, she was uh, highly ranked coming out of high school, um, but you know, those first two years is, is a learning curve, huge learning curve for the field events, and we found that out obviously with Michael Learman and guys like Danny Block over the years. But um, in the field events, and we got some great young. Uh, throwers right now, and, and uh, they just take a little bit more time. It's like some of the distance guys take a little bit more time to develop. So certainly, coach, that was all on Coach Ostrowska. So a great coaching job. How important is it this year having the Big Ten indoor meet streamed online for the first time in conference history? Well, that's something that uh, at our fall uh, coaches meeting uh, for the last two years we've been pushing. Um, when you look at the other major conferences, they uh, all have their meet streamed. It's huge for us. We felt as a coaching body that you know, having the meet um, replayed two weeks after the meet, and today the results are out there so quickly, it, it was senseless. So we're excited to, uh, to see this. We're excited to bring the meet to, uh, to our fans. Um, so yes, it's, it, it's a huge move on, on uh, part of the Big Ten. We're excited about it. The kids will, are going to love it. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too much away from the attendance because uh, we generally get a great attendance for the, the, at the meet, for the, particularly on the second day.